The Welsh Power algorithm doesn't always find the graph colouring that uses the minimum number of colours, but it's usually pretty good, and once again, it allows us to proceed systematically rather than by trial and error. We need to order the vertices from the highest to lowest degree first, so let's calculate the degree at each of the vertices by counting the number of edges going in or out. One way to make sure we're consistent as we proceed through the edges with the same degree is to fix our ordering from the beginning, so we'll assign labels to each of the vertices corresponding with the degree order. Now at each iteration, we have a colour and we proceed through colouring all the vertices that aren't connected to a vertex of that colour and aren't coloured already. For the first colour, we'll of course assign A this colour, but then B, C, D, E are all connected to A. F isn't, so it can also be assigned this colour. Then G and H are connected to A, I and J are connected to F, and K is connected to A as well. After we've looked at K, we move on to the next colour. Now we repeat the same procedure. A is already coloured, so we'll assign B this colour, and C isn't connected to B, but then there are no more vertices remaining that aren't connected to either B or C. We continue this process until all the vertices have been coloured. At this stage, we have our graph colouring, and our estimate of the chromatic number is the number of colours we used. Once we have this, we can do a quick check of the graph to see whether maybe it might have been possible to use fewer colours. In this case, we can identify some groups of four vertices like A, C, G and H, which are all connected to each other, so we know that it does need at least four, and hence the colouring we've obtained is optimal.